Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm out in the Surrey Hills again, just off the A25. And someone did request why I haven't been here before or visited here before. I have, but I didn't video it and that was a few years ago. But I've come to the village of Westcott, just about a mile or so outside Dorking, uh, say along the A25, it cuts through it. It's a lovely little village. And I'm going to a little wander around, show you the church and uh, a few other little nuggets. It's obviously sunny today and it's overcast, so there's a tiny little bit of rain actually, which hopefully is not going to come down. Um, so yeah, and I got lunch booked at the Wooten Hatch pub, which we've been to before, uh, just up the road at Wooten, uh, and my video from Wooten, which I'll do a link below for that. So yeah, let's go and have a little adventure. This is Pip Brook River. The source is very nearby. And in the past it was used for medicinal reasons and medicinal purposes because heavy iron in the water. So yeah, Pip Brook. The Old Mill House, I think the clue's in the uh, title of the house there, The Old Mill House. So this house behind me is Stowe Maris and it was a former home of Hollywood actor Leslie Howard. Leslie Howell was a classic, classic actor who was in Gone with the Wind um, and Scarlet Pimpernel, uh, who was died aged 50 when he was shot down by the Luftwaffe during the war. I think, I'm not quite sure, I think he was either spying for the war or something to do with the war effort. But this is his uh, former house. There is a blue pack on the wall. Obviously it's somebody's residence, so we're not going in. But yeah, Leslie Howard lived at this very place. It's supposed to be Tudor in origin, it doesn't look Tudor but maybe it's the real Tudor origins with a few walls and they've added on since then. It's an absolutely beautiful house, beautiful house. Yes, yeah, so Leslie Howard, Hollywood actor and classic English actor, lived here. This is the village pound. Straying at livestock will be impounded here in the 18th century. One of only nine surviving pounds in Surrey. Yeah, there's another one over at uh, uh, Brockham. There's one there, like well, one of the other nine surviving are. There's one down, actually just about a mile down that way, just as you go into Dorking. I've seen one when I pass through it. Yeah, restored by Wharton State in 2019. See, so yeah, there's nine surviving, so I know, yeah, I know one, two, three, four of them. So I wonder where the other nine are. Yeah, interesting. St John's Chapel, which was founded in 1840, 1840. Nice little structure, that. That must be the only thatched uh, bus stop in the country. <laughs> and the little dovecot next to it. <laughs> A thatched bus stop at Westcott, love it.
It was designed by George Gilbert Scott in the old Gothic, Gothic Revival style. Oh, sorry, frog in my throat. In the Gothic Revival style. I mean, the hundreds of times I've driven down the A25 past here, going into the Surrey Hills or going to Dorking or whatever, it just sort of snaps out of you to drive past. It's really quite a commanding, a commanding post. Really, really prominent position for a church. So this is Holy Trinity Church, which was founded in 1851 on land donated by the famous Evelyn family. Um, I'll link, as I said before, my video from Wooten below in the description box. Yeah, it's absolutely lovely. So I'm not, as, one, as I said before, I'm not a big fan of Victorian churches. They're still beautiful, but I like the real history, you know. It's lovely. Let's have a little look around. Can't find the light switch, so it's very dark in here, but this has got pretty good low light with the camera. Yeah. The constant hum of the A25 outside, you come in here, peaceful, just peaceful, lovely. Very peaceful with the clock just chiming in the background. Hmm. Okay. Supposed to be sunny today and we've got a bit of rain. First things first, protect the camera. Yeah, that sunny's not very hard, but it's still raining. And it didn't say anything about rain today. It just said, um, I know we need a bit of rain because we've been so dry for a long time. We had a little um, bout the other day. But uh, yeah, so uh, I'll just have to wait for it to pass a second before I'm going to get the camera uh, wet. Bugger. So I'm just walking down this little track here that I last did in 2015, so seven years ago. I'll just take you down to the cottages. There's some sunken paths here. I don't know if they're original or a feature. I'm not sure. Um, not a drove road or anything like that. Just a sunken sunken path. So there you go, I just wanted to show you those cottages because absolutely beautiful, I remember where they were. I'm doing this all from memory. Um, yeah, lovely. A little waterfall going through the back garden of the Pippin book, amazing. sit on this rather uneven uh, bench here. Quick bit of water. It's very muggy, I say. We won't forecast rain, it's stopped now. It's supposed to be sunny. Oh well. So I just stopped on the way back from the cottages, going back to the car. And there's a overflow churchyard here uh, to do with the um, the main one. Nice little peaceful spot just to sit here and uh, collect your thoughts. 
So yeah, what we're going to do now is head over to uh, the Wotton Hatch pub and have a. I'm going to have a nourish bowl, another of those, another of those gorgeous nourish bowls, full of all the good stuff: chickpeas, a bit of beef fillet, um, broccoli. Oh, it's really delicious. Um, I have one of them, I think. So yeah, I'm going to gather my thoughts and we'll go. Just a little bit of an added bonus. I wanted to see if Wharton Church was open because when I was here last, which I think was in April, it was shut. It always seems to be shut. It's off the, st uh, the beaten path. It's never open. <sighs> what can you do? Is it all part of the Wharton estate? You know, keep out, keep out, keep out. Open your churches, please. decided here at the wooden hatch I'm going to go with one of my favorites I am going to go with the nourish bowl with some beef fillet uh, added to it absolutely delicious avocado roasted cauliflower watercress cucumber dressing oh yeah it's gonna be lovely nourish bowl There you go guys, a little walk around West Cot, along the A25 just outside Dorking, offered up much more than I thought actually, um, especially the uh, Leslie Howard connection, which I didn't know until like, yesterday, um, so I've seen other videos from West Cot and no one's even mentioned it, although if you look on Google Maps it actually says the home of former actor, actor Leslie Howard, so, uh, absolutely lovely nourish bowl, oh god. But if you like the video, do the normal, please like, subscribe, please give us a like, hit that notification button, and um, we'll have more adventures next time. Hope you're having a great day. Take care.